So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and open my SeaTech uh, Multi-US 7002. I'm super excited about this. I'm actually quite a, a gearhead, quite a, a nut. And you know, I designed a lithium polymer battery controller for an aircraft. Um, so it's kind of exciting to see this system here. Interestingly, I hate to admit it. There's is the one in this box is probably fancier than the one I designed. Um, ours is more of a prototype, but that's a story for another time. So I am going to uh, continue pulling this out of the box, and we can see it comes with a nice, um, nice storage case here. I can see that in the picture on the back of the box, where you can you can store your battery charger. We have a manual here on how to use it for lead acid batteries, 12 volts. I, it doesn't do dual mode, um, which is six volts or 12 volts. I was asked that by another friend. Um, and I guess if you don't speak English, you can sticky these on the side of your battery so people can understand, or your charger, so people can understand the warning. Um, it says read warning on back of instruction manual. Multi-step charging. Uh, this company is out of Sweden. Um, a couple cool notes I noticed in the marketing. Um, the other battery chargers weren't this way. This one's weather hardened. Um, apparently, if it's uh, you know you're using it out in the snow or it's it's raining and or maybe there's a little bit of water that might get on or around it, it's it's more um, robust in those conditions. Um, some of the other ones, I know the other battery charger I have, which is a single mode. It's not a maintainer or anything. It's a battery maintainer and charger. My other one, um, it's, I got to flip this over. It's, uh, it has vents all over it. So you would not want to use that in, a, in any moisture. It'd be quite tra tragic, I would assume. You'd probably get electrocuted very badly uh, so that is the packaging there that's what was inside of it so interesting it's a company of Sweden but manufactured in China so everything anymore is pretty well manufactured in China I'm just interested in what this says only uh, connect and disconnect leads so um, in, a vi in a subsequent video after this one I'm going to use the charger to see if we can't get a battery I accidentally shorted out through my own stupidity to um, to work again. I doubt we can, but it's worth a shot. So yeah, the, the device is very rugged and it's a sealed design, which is unique. I didn't find that in any of the other ones I researched, the other battery charger maintainers I researched. And it just it just seems like it's of great quality. Here we have um, the leads to connect up to the battery. Uh, here, this is nice. Here is a setup where you can connect this to your car. I'll probably do that on my Corvette, which is my hobby car that I got this for. And you can quickly connect or disconnect the, uh, the charger. I like that. So that, that's likely going to go on my Corvette. So I will set that aside. Maybe that'll be another video, how to hook that up. But this is the uh, connector you're going to use to uh, charge a battery um, in your car. If you're not using the uh, quick connection there that you permanently install, semi-permanently. And uh, yeah, uh, everything here seems to be of great quality. So... Here's the connector to put the leads on or the alligator clips for your battery. And it's got a little um, switch in here. So once you put it in place, you, you press it and it locks it in place. I like that. Um, we don't have to hook this up to battery right now, but let's plug it in and, uh, and see what it does. So this is a very rugged, um, thick AC cable here. Let's uh, undo this. And yeah, as I mentioned, there was a less expensive version. I'll put a link to that and this one below the video. The, the less expensive version was the 3300. It had a slightly lower amperage it would do. And it only had a um, 
four-step charging process. It did include desulfation at the beginning, which is a feature I was very interested in. Um, but it was only four steps, and it was a slightly slower amp or lower amperage. So I'm assuming it'd take a little longer to charge a, a battery. But um, my computer's talking to me over there. It's got an ad going on on it. We're in my uh, computer room. Whoops. So hard to do this with one hand, but I plugged it in, and the power light goes on. So that's to be expected. It's not connected to battery or anything. We'll do that in the next video. Uh, again, if you'd like to purchase this, this can charge or maintain your battery um, and desulfate it, which is, I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, a good feature. Uh, I will put a link below this video where you can purchase this or the less expensive uh, 3300 model from SeaTech. If you have any questions, you can put those below the video as well. The link is an affiliate link, so I get a few cents if you use that. Really appreciate it. Um, I hope the video was helpful, and we will talk to you later.